Barely three days after signing the peace accord between the ruling Patriotic Front PF and the opposition United Party for National Development with the Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, an agreement that meant the two political parties were not going to engage themselves in any political violence going forward. But few days after this agreement was done, it seems both camps have continued to point fingers at each other. In the recent alleged attacks, the Patriotic Front PF through its media director, Antonio Mwanza, have accused the UPND of being behind the attack on, on their aspiring parliamentary candidate in Sioma district of Western Province. The continued violence that we have witnessed from the UPND. As you might be aware, yesterday the UPND viciously attacked our parliamentary candidate for Sioma, Madame Molorwa. They broke our house, they damaged two vehicles beyond repair, and beat a lot of people, members of the Patriotic Front. Mr. Mwanza has insisted that the opposition new PND have sensed a big defeat in this year's election. Beat our people in Mazabuka, assaulting two very badly, and they paint our billboard. These attacks from the UPND have continued despite them and us signing a peace pledge at Mongushi International Conference and also signing a peace pledge with the Electoral Commission of Zambia barely three days ago. So it has come to our attention that the UPND have no interest whatsoever in peace. UPND have realized that they don't have the numbers to win this election. They have done the calculations and they have seen that the PF is far ahead. They do, not, they do not have any stronghold right now as we are speaking. And they have resorted to violence as the only way to disrupt this election and to discredit the outcome of the elections. However, UPND have also blamed the PF in the recent Mandevo attack. On Tuesday, uh, one of our members was actually attacked by PF cadres and was hacked to death. His name is Jerome. So today we are going to bury him in Nangoma. Unfortunately, we have seen statements that are flying around saying that the PF, I mean the UPND, are inciting violence after signing a peace accord. I want to make it quite clear that we as UPND youths, we have continued being peaceful. All what we are doing is just merely defending ourselves. And in responding to the Sioma allegations, UPND spokesperson Cornelius Muitua had this to say. The issue which is going around to say UPND alliance members have attacked Patriotic Front members in Sioma and Mazabuka is not true. This is PF propaganda at their best. The PF candidate, Honorable Mbolorwa, has already told the nation that the people who attacked her people are those who are contesting as independents. UPND Alliance is not an independent candidature. Police further say the reports have not yet reached their attention. People need to know that such type of conduct is criminal. Whenever someone is aggrieved of anything, there are established institutions where they need to take their grievances. Lemugara reporting for Movie TV in Lusaka.